Welcome to a video introduction to CINAHL Complete. CINAHL Complete is a great resource for students in all types of health science programs. We'll be covering the key tools you need to start finding material in this database. Search Tools Overview. Right now, we're looking at the CINAHL Complete Advanced Search page. This is the page you'll reach when you click on the CINAHL Complete link on the library's database list. In any search, you'll want to pay attention to the following features. The search term boxes to enter your keywords, the full text box to ensure that you find results where you can read the full text. This is selected by default. The peer-reviewed box to find content that has gone through the review process for scholarly publications. The research article box if you need to find articles presenting research or reviews of research. The published date selector to choose content from specific years. If you don't apply one of these filters before you search but then determine that you need it, you can also apply it from the search results page. For example, let's try a search for wound care with the full text, peer-reviewed, and research article boxes selected. Once we click on search, we may decide that we only want material from the last 15 years. We can use the publication date slider on the left side of the page to make this change. Subject headings. For many topics, CINAHL's subject headings are a great way to identify material and narrow down your searches. Items in CINAHL are marked with subject headings that describe their content. Using CINAHL's subject headings can be a more precise way than keyword searching to find only the set of articles about your topic. To find subject headings, click on CINAHL subject headings at the top of the database. If you aren't sure precisely how CINAHL refers to a condition or concept with these subject headings, the feature can help direct you to the right place. If we enter the search term breast cancer and then select browse, You'll see that the top of the search results tells you that CINAHL officially uses the term breast neoplasms for this topic, and it lets you immediately select the box next to that term to begin building your search. To use this subject heading, click that box, and then review the subfields that appear on the right. These fields are another way to narrow down to articles that more directly relate to your topic and eliminate search results that you do not need. So if we apply the subfield Diagnosis, and then we select Search Database, we now have almost 12,000 results, all related to diagnosis of breast cancer. The first part of this video showed the full text, research article, peer-reviewed, and publication date filters on the advanced search page. When you're doing a search using the subject heading tools, you'll need to apply these filters after you search. For example, some of our results do not have full text included, so we'll need to select the full text box on the left to apply this filter. After applying this filter, we have about 4,000 results. This is still a large number of results, and there are other filters we could apply. But these results are related to the aspect of breast cancer we want to learn about, and they have full text attached, so this should be a fruitful group to start our search with. When using subject headings, the subfields that are available to you are tailored to the category of the topic you are searching. For example, if we enter the search term HIPAA, CINAHL again will show us the official term they use for this subject heading, and you can select the box next to Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act to begin building your search. However, the subheadings that appear on the right are quite different from the ones that we saw for breast cancer. For breast cancer, we saw subfields related to topics like diagnosis, epidemiology, prognosis, and other terms related to medical conditions. For HIPAA, our subject headings include topics like administration, economics, and history. While subject headings and the subheadings can be a powerful way to search, not all topics will have perfectly matchings in all subject headings. For example, if you are looking for information about MRI and other imaging diagnosing hippocampal sclerosis, you'll see after searching that there are currently no subject headings that exactly match this term, and there are also none for temporal lobe sclerosis. However, we can check the search as keyword box at the bottom of the page, and once we search with these keywords, you'll see that there are many related results. If we add MRI to our search terms and run the search again, we'll get the type of results that we were looking for. So while subject headings are a valuable tool, you might find that sometimes a keyword search is still the best fit for your topic. If a subject heading does exist, you can increase your chance of finding it by keeping your search on the subject headings page compact, including only one or two words, instead of searching for an entire question. In this video, we have covered how to use CINAHL Complete's main search page and the subject headings to find material for your research. If you have any questions about using CINAHL, ask a Bellevue College librarian. Information about contacting a librarian is available through the Ask a Librarian page on our website. 